Alright guys, welcome back to another recap. Monday today, opening the week. Um, small green day, up $170. Let me pull up my trade review for you guys. Um, like always, if you want to watch me trade live, go over to Tradecaster, go over to YouTube, guys. I'm streaming free on both platforms. So here's my trade review for today, up $170.76. Three trades, three tickers, three green trades. Um, $43,125. So very slow day today. Um, but at least I was able to get in, make some green profit, um, get some back from those losses on Friday and come back. So um, I was on a 15-day streak. I lost it on Friday and today back again, now green. Um, so if you want to go watch me trade live and trade with my team, go to Tradecaster.com. Ask for a payment. Just cancel out of it. It's completely free. Or click the notification, subscribe on YouTube, and uh, you should be able to watch me there as well. Um, if you like this recap, also hit that thumbs up, notification bell when I post a new one, or any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and comment them below. So, with that being said, let me look over my uh, trades today. So, my first trade today was actually, I think it was FTCI. Uh, this is my very first trade. One of the only trades that's probably obvious. I mean, in this whole talk, I, in this whole stock, I would have left all of this alone. Until we got a new high of day break right there. It looks like I bought in at 518 and sold at 520. So only about two, three cents of profit. Um, right, bought right before the break of 52 and then sold as we were getting in at 52 and probably sold more at the top. So 523 was my biggest sell. And then it looks like I got stopped out on the rest, but still made $43 profit there. Um, got me green on the day. After that, it looks like I went over to YMTX. Um, YMTX all morning long on my live, I said this stock looks pretty shorted. For one, we have that pre-market high that we tested, or this pre-market pivot right there where we tested and could not break the little bit of a, my trade signals on the way. There it is. So we tested it to the penny, three times to the penny, could not break it. And we pulled back. And then, I don't know why, out of nowhere, we created this 215 resistance at 215 to the penny. And we hit it once, twice, three times, four times, five times six times um in this point i was not taking a breakout trade through 215 but i was taking trades somewhere in this area and at least saying okay 215 is a strong support right so i might not get a break of 215 but i might get a retest of 215 and if you see where i'm buying i'm buying at 211 212 211 and i'm selling right at 213 right at 214 right at 213 right at 213 again so I'm not anticipating I'm anticipating the break of 215 but I'm not buying at 215 for the break I'm buying below anticipating that break and selling right some profit there so I lock it in and then in case it comes back down and flushes like it did I am at least in some profit and can stop out break even um, luckily I was not in that trade so I, I got fully out of here at 215 right there or through 213 sorry um, I was fully out of that, but I mean, 213 broke. We didn't even reach 220, which would have been our next next pivot. If we got 220 and held 220, I would have taken a long there for the pre, uh, pre-market pre high of 227 break, hopefully 230 break, and then got a new high. Um, but we didn't even get 220, and we broke 215. I mean, I, everything just turned red. Shorts came in, buyers gave out, and flushed all the way down and continued. So that's been a very common thing that we've seen. And then after that, GOVX... Or somewhere in the middle of that was GOVX, uh, one of my trades here. On this one, I looked at the five minutes. So if I go to look at five day, five minutes, um, quickly pan out and, and zoom out. And you can see, you might not be able to see, but let me see if I can. No, because it's on exactly in the five days. So let me up the days. Let me go 15 days. And then you'll be able to see the high of, it was 244. So this high right here so 244 in the last five days was this one right here can you see that or can you not yeah so this was a high of 244 and if you have it on the five day five minute it marks it as a high um, so I was looking to see if we can get that 244 break reclaim and then maybe 250 right there psychological right above it so I took a trade I missed the whole beginning part of this stock so I wasn't watching it I didn't see it maybe it was low volume and I just I just didn't see the stock so I wasn't trading it there but I waited until we got that uh, into that range again. And once again, I'm not buying the breakout of 240, right? I'm not buying the breakout of 240. I'm going to buy below somewhere in this area and see if I can get a retest of 240, take some profit there. And then if we get that clean breakout through it, then I have some shares left over. So it looks like, it looks like this has been mostly the, the place recently. Nothing is breaking out. You're getting resistances on top and shorts are stacked there. So you have to always be adjusting to new trades, new trading styles, new strategies. So usually I'd be buying way up here for that break. 
but on this one I bought lower uh, 233 so somewhere in the middle of this red candle came back up sold 235 236 and yeah so 236 mostly 236 again and I'm out I mean I take my profit and I'm out $100 there so being able to take your profit lock it in is helping in this market conditions I mean if I wouldn't have locked my profit there right away I would have been red if I didn't lock my profit there oh my gosh I would have been stuck in a in a nasty flush of 20 30 cents on a stock and that's a lot on that one and then FTCI as well if I wouldn't have taken my profit early I would have been red on the trades or breaking even so um, small recap today um, while I was on live, I will I will call this one out. It won't show the trade because it was an option play. While I was live, I drew a couple of patterns on Amazon after the the split. So I kind of drew this little this little channel going up here, um, right here. You could see we had our first touch. Let me zoom out more days because it won't let me again. So let me zoom out 15 days. So now that are 15 days, you should be able to see the channel. There it go. So it's a little bit of a channel, right? We got one touch here in the top left corner. We got a middle touch right there, second point. And today we came up to that same the same line, right? And I'm seeing that uptrend resistance and then this uptrend support on Amazon. As soon as it popped to that level, I drew my line. Um, and then I watched for it to get up there. And I entered a short uh, a short option. A put, I bought a put call. So... Uh, so far, I think my put is up 30, 40. Let me tell you exactly. I think it's up 40%. At one point, I was up 50% down here. But I'm up 40% exactly. So 40% on that trade, still holding it. Um, this is the bottom of that channel. And honestly, I think it, everything is still continuing down. So I'm going to hold on to it a little bit longer. But, uh, I mean, yeah, that was a pretty cool snipe at the very top. And then also, if you see that and you have an uptrend on the day, Draw that uptrend as well, and look at this perfect, uh, can this perfect signal right here to go short, right? So you get that break of a downtrend, you get a retest with this green candle, and that is your entry right there. If you would have entered right there, a break of downtrend, and after bouncing off of that top resistance that I had, if you would have entered, that would have been your entry right there. And I mean, after that, you're down. This was 128. You hit a lows of 124, so $4 a share. That's incredible right there. So if you want to watch some of these swing plays that I've been watching, that I've been calling out, uh, make sure you tune in live on YouTube on uh, or Tradecaster. And just ask me. If you want to look at a certain stock, then you can ask me. Um, like I said, everything is free, so you don't have to pay it all. So uh, quick little recap, quick little green day. Get in and get out and call it a day. I won't even be back for power hour. I'm going to keep my $170 on the stock and then still up another couple hundred or a hundred and something on this put. So I'm going to hold it on for a little bit longer and just see what happens. So once again, make sure you click that like and subscribe button. And it really helps my channel grow faster. Um, and that's all I want to do. So just reach out to more people and help them out and, and all that stuff. So appreciate it, guys watching all the way to the end. Make sure to hit like, subscribe. Go watch me uh, trade live on YouTube or Tradecaster. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another recap. So y'all take care.